In 1899, Michigan State Representative David Heineman introduced a bill to the legislature that would provide funding for an aquarium and horticultural building to be built on Belle Isle. The bill proposed that $150,000 in bonds be issued, which is about $3.7 million today, and it was passed in May of that year by a majority vote of the people. Heinemann's endeavor was inspired by his study of the Anton Dorn Zoological Station in Naples, Italy, whose beau art style also served as an influence for the building's architect, Albert Kahn. The conjoined aquarium and horticultural building, as it was then called, opened on August 18th of 1904. Detroiters, whose votes helped finance the project, are reported to have been chomping at the bit to take a peek. By the time dawn rolled around, the line numbered into the thousands and stretched from the aquarium's front door all the way across the bridge back to East Jefferson Avenue. When finally given their chance, guests were welcomed by the face of Neptune and Detroit's motto, Speramus Meliora Resurgit Cineribus. We hope for better things, it will rise from the ashes. A theme that has remained true as the city and its cultural assets have weathered their fair share of economic highs and lows. Inside, visitors would walk into what felt like an underwater museum, with gold frames around the tanks and glistening green glass tiles adorning the vaulted ceilings. Just before the onset of the Great Depression, the city played a key role during the Prohibition era, which spanned from 1920 to 1933. Belle Isle's position between the U.S. and Canada made it a prime location for the smuggling of alcohol across the border. The basement of the Belle Isle Aquarium even served as a speakeasy for those rum runners looking to evade the restrictive prohibition laws during their journey across the Detroit River. The aquarium experienced a major facelift in the 1950s, which updated its technology and drastically changed the aesthetics, which is the design you see today. These updates allowed the inclusion of a more diverse collection of fish, whose habitats were previously unable to be accommodated. Following a steady decline in attendance and city budget cuts, the aquarium was closed in 2005. A group of dedicated volunteers known as the Friends of the Belle Isle Aquarium raised funds and garnered widespread support for the eventual reopening of this well-loved cultural institution. Thanks to their wholehearted efforts, the Belle Isle Aquarium reopened seven years later on September 15, 2012, under the management of the newly formed Belle Isle Conservancy.